I believe, I believe Vice President Harris uh, has taken her seat. And I believe we can listen in for just a moment. Madam, <laughs> Madam President. Majority Leader. Leader of order. The Senate will be in order, please. And once again, congratulations to all of those who worked hard, so hard, on this very significant and very important bill. And now we proceed to the second track. So, Madam President, I move to proceed to calendar number 122, Senate Con S. Conres 14, the concurrent resolution on the budget, and I ask for the yeas and nays. Is there a sufficient second? There is. There is? The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin. Aye. Mr. Barrasso. Aye. Mr. Bennett. Do you want to go? Mrs. Blackburn. Mr. Blumenthal. Aye. Okay. Um, Vice President Mr. Harris Blunt. now presiding. Uh, Garrett Hake, let me come back to you for a moment for folks who are watching at home or, or listening on their Sirius satellite radios. Explain uh, what we're seeing right now. Walk us through this sausage making. So here's what we just saw. The vote just ended on the bipartisan infrastructure bill. It passed the Senate. The count still needs to be finalized. Our rough count was 19 Republicans in favor, along with uh, all Benzman. Democrats voting in favor. That passed. You saw uh, Kamala Harris there gaveling that down. Then okay. Leader Schumer moved immediately to bring up the first vote in this process of passing that $3.5 trillion bill that will be Democrats only. This vote is also Democrats only, or it can and most certainly will be. It needs just a 50-vote threshold to get started. This is a, called a motion to proceed, to get started on debating that budget resolution. So part of the reason Mr. Harris Burr. is in the chair is the possibility that she would have had to break a 50-50 tie. But of course, we are down one Republican senator today. Mike Mr. Rounds of South Dakota is with his wife, who's receiving cancer treatment. So he could not be here today. That likely means Harris's role today will be purely ceremonial. She should not have to cast any tie-breaking vote. 